kind of amazing at how God works, especially with me. <clears throat> Got a wonderful church. This is, this is what happens when you're on staff and you miss a staff meeting. <laughs> you kind of get thrown under the bus. So, and like Bill always puts it, I've got the mic, so y'all are just going to have to listen. <clears throat> and like Guy, always got a scripture. I guess mine's pretty short. It's John eleven thirty five. Jesus wept. So, kind of got that out of the way. Uh, a little bit about myself. I'm Leroy Birkenfeld, who don't know. Married to Asia. Uh, my parents are Carol and Mildred Birkenfeld in Nazareth. I was born seventh of eight children, so I kind of had it pretty rough growing up with older brothers and sisters. Grew up in Nazareth, graduated from high school, grew up on the farm, had a great childhood, I thought. And then, When I was 11, my brother that was older, the next oldest brother, he died in a car wreck. And that just tore my world apart. Thought I was kind of over it and be able to talk about it, but still gets to me. So from, from 11 till early 20s, I was very lost. There wasn't enough alcohol or drugs around that could fill any void that I had. Well, I met this lady and man, this is gonna fix my life. So we got married. I adopted my oldest son that I loved dearly. And we had three wonderful children after that. And I have one very great son-in-law. I bless the Lord every day and thank the Lord every day for him. We thought I had a good marriage. We was doing good. And then all of a sudden, for some reason, it seemed like everything just turned upside down. Nothing, couldn't do anything right, I didn't think. Struggling in every way. Then we had some, some friends kept asking us to come to church, and we'd been to church on and off, and me and Age was in a pretty big fight, and she got a text from her and asked if we was coming to church. And she goes, what am I supposed to do with this? I said, here, let me see your phone. So I put, well, we'll see you in the morning. So that made my wife really mad, very mad. But I would have to say, since the first day we've come to Barn Church, I can probably count on both my hands how many times we have missed. And it's not because we wanted to. Uh, I always told Asia before we met Barn Church that if she drug me to a church where they started handling chickens and snakes and <laughs> falling out in spirits and all this stuff, because I was raised Catholic, so to all that was like, no, and funny how, the, how God works because we was here at Barn Church and guess who was laying on the floor passed out in the spirit first one out of the whole congregation and it was a full house. So God has a sense of humor. What I really, what the Lord has put on my heart for the last three, four weeks since Guy asked me to preach. I was fumbling through Facebook and this little article pulled up and I really thought it was a Johnny story. 
So I started reading it. Turned out it wasn't. This uh, teacher asked all the kids if they kind of knew what baggage was, you know, and all the kids, yeah, it's what you carry when you go on vacation and all this, and she said yes. And she went on to explain to them that baggage is also stuff that you don't tell people. And the Lord knows about it. And so she, she handed everybody a little piece of paper. And if you don't have a little square piece of paper, I've got plenty up here. If anybody needs one. Anyway, she asked them to write down something that you haven't shared with anybody. And I'd like for you all to do that today. We'll take a couple minutes and everybody just write something down that they haven't shared or told anybody. And I'll get one of the ushers, if they don't mind, to pick them up. And I'm no special because I'm going to, I'll do it too. <laughs> and y'all don't have to put your names on them unless you want to. Because this is, it ain't for everybody to know who, who wrote down what. It's between you and the Lord. And which the Lord knows everything. Lo, the Lord knows everything. While everybody is finishing that up, I do have another scripture. It's Matthew 6, 31 through 34, and I'll read it to you. So don't worry about the things saying what we will eat, what we will drink, what we will wear. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly Father already knows all needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. He will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. This ain't quite as bad once you get up here for a minute, is it? And we got comical family members that don't help either. They were raised in the church. I don't know why they're having to act up.
Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Now, once the teacher had asked all the kids to write something down like we just did, she picked them up. And she rumbles through them here. save that one. That one's even rough on me. Funny how God works. Because the first two I picked up, they said we're eight. That's a big burden to carry. And we're a forgiving church. There's no condemnation here. And the teacher asked the kids if they wanted to share, they could, because to get it off your chest. And I'm asking the same thing. Because we're a forgiving church. There's no condemnation against anybody. So if anybody feels led, I'll bring them to Mike and they can share. This one says depression. That was blank. This one says, I never told them I forgave them after the Holy Spirit had told me to, and now they're gone. This one says war. This one says, although I know God is always there, I love him, and he loves me. I just, don't, I just feel so alone and rejected. We all carry baggage. As the scripture says, not to worry about it. And everything that's written in here, I was also flaming in the trash, but <laughs> dear Lord, I just ask that every person that put something on this these papers, and you know what it was, dear Lord, I just ask that you give them the strength to forget about it and to be able to just give it to you. And dear Lord, just continue to love each and every one of them as you always do. In Jesus' name, amen. God loves each and every one of us. And you can't run from it. God knows I tried for 21, 22 years. In Ephesians 1, 4, it says, even before he made the world, he loved each and every one of us. In Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. God loves you. God loves you even if you're carrying baggage. Love is mentioned 541 times in the Bible. That is one for every day and twice on the weekends. Nothing can compare to his love. I've tried a bunch of these. Alcohol, it won't fill that void. Drugs won't. For men, women won't. For women, men won't. Food won't either. 
took me 43, to re 43 years to realize how much God loves me. And part of it was getting up here in front of all y'all to just say how great he is. You know, I, God loves all of us. Even, even through them 20 some years I wasn't there, he loved me enough to keep me through, get me through some pretty dark stuff that I wouldn't think I'd be able to survive. And now after I've figured out how much he actually loves me, it's pretty awesome. I know this is a short word. I, everybody knows that I don't like being up in front of people, but I got a song that I thought would kind of fit after having the little exercise we've done to go right along with show us how much God loves us. this love Oh, it's moving all my mountains This perfect love is casting out my fear How great this love Oh, it welcomes me like family And anywhere I go It meets me and he is God what I earn it's not what I got and he is just it oh so kind what I deserve it's not what I find what more could I say about him, my God is love. How great this love! Oh, it's faithful through my failures. This trusted love is with me till the end. How great this love! Oh, it's closer than a brother And this is love He died so I could live And He is good And He is God What I earned It's not what I got And He is just Oh, so kind What I deserve It's not what I find What more could I say about Him? My God is love
fire It's not what I got And he is just It all was so kind What I deserve It's not what I find What more could I say about him My God is love what more could I say about him? My God is love. What more could I say about him? My God is love.